Howdy folks, Tex Scrabner here with Tex Scrabner Outdoors. In this box is the makings of a trot line, a rather epic trot line. And so we're going to see if we can have us a half-assed misadventure. So now we've got the trot line strung across here, nice and secure. Now this bait that I'm using is actually pretty nasty stuff. Little so beef stew chunk meat. And I've basically had them marinating in a Little Stinkers catfish bait and a Pedro's blood bait marinade. And so now what we're going to do is start baiting my hooks as we go down the line. Don't that look appetizing? Now I'm not an expert trot liner, but one thing that you got to be careful of, other than not getting stuck with the hook, is making sure that your bait chunk like I said, this is beef stew meat. Making sure that your bait chunk is bite size enough for a catfish. But in addition to that, the reason I'm using stew meat soaked in stink bait is it's got a much more fibrous texture than say chicken liver. And I'm fishing for channel cat here in the pond. So, so we're about halfway done. So we just got done tying it off here on the other end. And we've already got a fish, so I guess I'm eating dinner tonight, guys. If I don't get horned. And the bait's still there. So this hook is still going to be good. Success. A fish in the hand is worth a hundred in the water. I'll be back tomorrow to check on this. Hopefully I've got some fish on it. So now that I got him back to the house here, Time to clean this bad boy. There we got him. Well guys, he's definitely eater size and I'm sure he'll taste just dandy. So, look forward to part two. Hopefully I have more than just this fish. As always, God bless all my sportsmen of America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please check out my friends over at LegallyConcealed.org. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement and those who serve in the military. Thanks for watching Tex Scrabner Outdoors. Howdy folks, Tex Scrabner here with Tex Scrabner Outdoors out here in the boat. Got no life jacket, got no crew. Gonna run the trot line up, see if I got anything on it. So this should be a very interesting experience. Well, we got another. Let's get him off of here. He's bigger than the one I got yesterday. I think it's multi-tool time. Stick him in the line. Run this bad boy the rest of the way up. And I 
think we got another one on here. Yep. He ain't very happy to see me, folks. Another one for the live well. That's running the rest of the way up. Now, what do we got here? Here's I gave the snapping turtles a meal. Well, I sure must have had a big one because he snapped the line on the trot line. He's very lively. Another one for the live well. Well, it appears there's one on the line down there. Well, there must have been a big one here if he snapped my damn trot line, but I got another one right here. Not a bad channel cat if I do say so myself. Stick him in the live well here. course, as you see here, it's the end of the line. Four pretty good sized cats. Not a bad haul if I do say so myself. Figure I'll get these home, get them cleaned up, leave the trot line out for another night, come back tomorrow, see if I got anything on it. If not, I'll pull it out. Time to do some fish cleaning again, guys. So not to be gross, but this here's the fish row. One of these cats is a female. White trash caviar. Well, there you have it, guys. Four clean catfish. The fish row didn't taste none too bad, neither. I hear it's good survival food if you catch one of them. So, I think I'm going to leave the trot line out for the rest of the night. Go pick it up tomorrow, so expect a part three. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this TGO misadventure. As always, God bless all my sportsmen of America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please check out my friends over at LegallyConcealed.org. 
Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement and those of you served in the military. And thanks for watching. Tax Grabner Outdoors. Howdy folks, Tex Grabner here with Tex Grabner Outdoors. Welcome to part three of the TGO Trot Line Adventure. Probably going to pull this trot line out today. Don't know if I'm going to have anything on it, but I have still had some bait on it. So we'll see. Well, we're out here in the rowboat again. Once again, no life jacket. Just going to run this line up. Sadly, there were no fish on the trot line today when I took it out. However, I wanted to show you this footage so that you could see the process drastically speeded up. The bait that I was using was very waterlogged and stale and didn't have any scent left to it. And because catfish are scent hunters rather than visual predators, that wasn't very good. The bait that I was using originally before it became stale and waterlogged was inch by inch chunks of beef stew meat because it has a very fibrous texture and it had been marinated in Primo's blood bait for three days in a Ziploc bag. I was also using Little Stinker's Rotten Shad dip bait as a marinade However, the blood bait proved to catch more fish. Now, I wanted to explain to you guys what a trot line actually is. I've heard it pronounced trot line and trout line. Trot line is the actual correct pronunciation. A trot line refers to a line with trots. Trots are the small diameter line with the hook attached to it that attaches to the main line. By attaching many trots to a main line, you then create what's known as a trot line that I was using to catch fish. Well guys, nothing on the lines today. Just went ahead and pulled the trot line out. Bait wasn't none too fresh, and I don't think I had it set in the right place. So the next time I set it out, I'll know where to set it. Because I only got the fish yesterday on one end, except for down at the very end of it. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed watching the conclusion of this TGL misadventure. As always, God bless all my sportsmen of America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please check out my friends over at LegallyConcealed.org. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement and those of you serving in the military. And thanks for watching Tex Scrabner Outdoors. Howdy folks, Tex Scrabner here with Tex Scrabner Outdoors. Today I'm going to show you how to wire rig a trot line. What I've got here is a whole shitload of hooks and trot clamps. I have cable clamps here from Berkeley and 60 pound test coated braided leader wire. So what I'm going to do is take my leader wire, my multi-tool, and this Smokey the Bear ruler and measure out one foot of this leader. That will make me one leader. So I've got all my cables cut. Got one ready right here. I've got the trot clamp. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these slide clamps here, slide it over top of my coated cable, slide it through the trot clamp, and then run it out the other side. Now I'm going to shrink it down, take my Leatherman here, and just clamp down on this real good. That's one half done. Now I've got my hook. Just going to get another slide clamp here. 
or cable crimp, so to speak. Slide that over my trot, which is the cable. Slide it through the hook and run it back through my sliding crimp. Shrink it down so that I've got enough line here. Cable line. And then just crimp this down nice and tight as well. And this here is one full trot totally completed. What you're looking at here is about 45 minutes of mind-numbing work. It's not very hard. It's just god-awful boring. And I have 25 completed trots, which is enough to fill one Magic Bait trot line kit. This is 60-pound test Berkeley leader wire, coated braided wire. And these are the Berkeley leader clips or clamps and they're not very expensive one magic bait trot line kit that's going to come with 25 of these and 25 hooks and the line that you can string between them if you don't want to wire rig it is about 15 bucks I'm going to be doing up 50 hooks because what you see here is actually two magic bait trot line kits stuck together and I also have an older trot line main line under here that has barrel swivels on the line itself. A mistake that I'd made when I ran my trot line was I used just the trot line clips from Magic Bait that don't have the swivel on them and I used it on the Magic Bait trot line. There needs to be a swivel either on the trot or on the main line so that the fish can't death roll off and tear the hook out of its mouth. What you're looking at price wise is about a total of 50 bucks for two trot line kits, 60 feet of 60 pound test leader wire from Berkeley, and 100 leader clips or leader clamps for securing both ends of your trot if you're going to wire rig it. However, it's only going to cost you 30 bucks if you just want to use the line that comes with the kits. Hope this video has been helpful. As always, God bless all my sportsmen of America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please check out my friends over at LegallyConcealed.org. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement and those who serve in the military. And thanks for watching Tax Grabner Outdoors. Howdy folks, Tax Grabner here with Tax Grabner Outdoors. Now, I've done a lot of trot line videos recently. However, one very important video that I haven't made yet is how to actually store a trot line. Because if you don't store it properly the next time you want to use it, it's going to be a real pain in the ass. We're talking maybe six hours of untangling trots, and it just ain't fun. This here's a trot bucket. Well, this is actually a Tupperware, but I call it the trot bucket. What I've done is I've taken a Tupperware that I didn't care much about, and I've cut slits into the top of it, just one width of my multi-tool saw here on the Leatherman Wave. And that gives me a place to stow my hooks safely and effectively. And without the hooks falling down inside, you're less likely to get tangled. Now you can do this with a five-gallon bucket, a one-gallon bucket, depending on how long your trots are. I just happen to use a Tupperware and wire rigging my trot line with the leader wire is actually going to help me store it a lot easier because the leader wire isn't going to tangle like the lines would on the trots. So that's pretty much self-explanatory. Just cut slits in the lid of whatever you're going to be storing it in and hang your hooks in the slits. Also this here is a trot line winder. Kind of self-explanatory. 
They're about six to eight bucks in almost every sporting goods aisle that you walk through. And these two things here, the trot bucket and the winder, are going to help you store and then you reuse your trot line much more effectively and it's going to make your life a hell of a lot easier. Hope this video has been helpful. As always, God bless all my sportsmen of America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please check out my friends over at LegallyConcealed.org. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement and those of you serving in the military. And thanks for watching Tech Scrabner Outdoors.